The Soviets were renowned for their ingenious engineering feats, crafting machines that surpassed the limits of conventional wisdom and stretched the boundaries of the possible. These remarkable inventions stand as a testament to the extraordinary capabilities of the era's brightest minds. Prepared to be amazed by these 10 astounding Soviet machines, each one a marvel that challenges belief. Number 10, Kalanin K7. As I previously discussed, the creation of massive structures was a popular pursuit in Russia and the former Soviet Union. One such creation was the Kalinin K-7, a colossal aircraft that was built for the sheer thrill of it. Although it was considered too large to be practical, the Kalinin K-7 made history by being constructed merely three decades after the Wright brothers' iconic flight. The construction of this massive aircraft required a remarkable level of skill and expertise. Its wingspan was an astonishing 173 feet, which is more than twice the size of the largest US bomber, a bomber of that era. The Soviet Union could not resist boasting about this incredible feat of engineering. Sadly, only one Kalinin K-7 was ever completed and the project was eventually abandoned. Nevertheless, the Kalinin K-7 remains an impressive and a wide inspiring example of human ingenuity and engineering prowess. Number nine, Veno Project. The Zeno Project was yet another ambitious one by the Soviet Union, one that had both success and failure. The basics of things were that this was a massive airplane that would be able to carry two to five smaller airplanes on it. The host would be the workhorse, if you will, and get them far beyond the range of other smaller fighters. Then the parasites on top of it would be able to launch when needed either to protect the mothership or go off and do their own mission. It looks and sounds ludicrous, but it did work in practice. There was a successful tryout of this configuration and it was completed. Granted, it was not the smoothest thing ever, but it did work. However, the project was later abandoned and different methods of doing group launches were figured out by the Soviets and others later on. Number eight, the Sukhoi T-4. As someone once said, a smart person borrows an idea while a wise person steals it. Thomas Edison was a firm believer in this ideology. However, the discussion today is not about Edison, but the Cold War. During the Cold War, the United States and the USS stole ideas from each other to take advantage of what the other already had and potentially improve upon it right under their noses. The USSR, aimed to top the XB-70 that the United States already had and came up with the Sukhoi T-4 program. The ambitious and immensely expensive program was designed to provide an aircraft capable of achieving a March 3, almost 2,000 miles per hour. However, the Sukhoi T-4 program failed to live up to expectations and after just 10 flights, the aircraft only managed to reach a top speed of 1.28 which was a lot less than what was desired. Moreover, due to the aerodynamic shape of the craft, pilots had to rely on their instruments in order to land, which was a significant disadvantage. As a result, the program and the aircraft were both shut down. Number seven, the Miel Mi-10. Not every vehicle was made to be better than what the United States did. Some of them were to improve upon what they already had. The Mi-6 copter, for example, was used to deliver heavy payloads without much issue. However, it had a power and weight limit and the USSR wanted more. So they charged the team behind the original copter with the development of a dedicated flying crane helicopter for carrying bulky loads unable to be carried in the hold of a Mi-6. It was a good idea, but it didn't have the right execution. The helicopter was incredibly complex and only about 55 were made in total. Only a few are in the world now, and those are the short leg versions that were meant to pick up the slack of the originals. Number six, Mendeleev tank. Let's shift our attention from aircraft to the USR's intriguing tank designs. Interestingly, one such tank emerged just before the USR's inception during World War I. 
It's believed that the Soviet Union might have taken interest in this tank due to its unique design and innovative technology. Despite its appearance as a massive armored block, this tank offered substantial protection. It was equipped with sophisticated gas splatters that enabled it to lower its frame for enhanced defense in critical areas. The actual existence of this tank, however, remains a topic of speculation. Number five, Object 279. Not surprisingly, the Soviet Union tried to make weapons and vehicles that could overpower their opponents in various ways. And Object 279 would become one example of that. It was a massive and massively powerful tank that had multiple treads and a very long tank barrel. Not as long as a certain other one I showed you, but you do get the idea. The goal of the tank was to be one that would break through enemy lines and raise havoc. However, thanks to its multiple treads, it would have also been able to go into areas where other tanks had trouble. So why don't we see this tank on the battlefield now? Well, one of the heads of the Soviet Union felt that such a tank was trivial compared to the warfare that would be coming via missiles and bombs. So only one was ever made and it never ever saw any kind of action. Number four, Antonov AN-40. Now here's a fusion tank that can fly. Well, in theory at least, nobody's really sure how it would actually go into battle, but we do give them points for creativity. The Antonov AN-40 AKA the flying tank was a tank that was strapped to a massive glider, but why do that? Well, that's because the goal was to outfit crews so that they could be dropped into battle instead of having to work their way into the main area. People in tanks would drop separately and that would cause a lot of problems. Eventually, the project would be scrapped. Number three, SAR tank. During World War I, a unique tank called the SAR was developed. Its design was distinct from other tanks as it resembled a big wheeled bicycle rather than the traditional tank shape. The purpose of this design was to tackle the challenges of tough terrain by utilizing a simple two-wheeled approach and a powerful engine, which theoretically enabled the tank to overcome most obstacles. The crew and weapons were located in the center part of the tank, making it easier for them to operate. Despite the clever design, the SAR tank was not efficient or cost-effective enough, leading to the eventual discontinuation of the project. Number two, Ilyushin IL-40. The Ilyushin IL-40 is the next stop on this tour and it was another unique creation by the Soviets. Those who designed it were aiming at creating a jet engine ground attack aircraft that could significantly outperform slower piston engine aircraft. But if you're wondering if that nose has a problem, well, you'd be right. The guns that were in the nose caused a major problem when the first test flight occurred. The pilot had fired his weapons and the gases from the bullets firing would shut the engine off. Thankfully, the pilot was able to get things back on track and get the plane to land safely. However, the craft had to undergo major changes afterwards. While the changes did help things and make it more viable as an aircraft, the project didn't last for much longer and it simply became another swing and a miss. Number one, the ZVM-2901. Now to be clear, it wasn't just the Soviets who had the idea for the ZVM-2901. This design allowed the vehicle to move easily over any terrain without applying too much pressure. All three sides were able to create vehicles with this configuration, and some in Russia even rebuilt the ZM-2901 in modern times. However, the top speeds of these vehicles were very slow, with some only reaching four miles per hour. As a result, many nations felt that it wasn't worth investing in them. That's all for now about the Soviet Union and their unique vehicles. Were you surprised by any of these remarkable machines? And which one do you think was the craziest? Perhaps there are other vehicles that belong on this list. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to check out the other cool things on the screen and I'll see you next time.